Now, Kel Brook now. Yes, we've got time. Ezekiel to some. He's unbeaten. He's ranked all over the world by all the bodies. He is getting closer to winning a world title. First, he has to beat the sport's toughest fighter. I'm not joking. This Saturday at the Hillsborough Leisure Centre in his hometown of Sheffield, Brook fights Lovemore Endu. Endu is a former world champion and in 62 fights, dozens of which have been against quality boxers, many about a dozen or more world champions in there. He's never been stopped. He's lost 12 times, but never been stopped. He is still world-ranked. This Saturday, Brook goes after him. Now, I spoke to Brook a bit earlier. I wanted to know if it's a relief to fight finally again in front of his hometown fans after a six-year gap. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I'm boxed there since they're 18, and obviously it's the first time I've come back and it's a sellout, so I'm over at Moon with uh, how everything's going on. Were you surprised, Kel, that it's sold out? Because there were a lot of people that said, oh, it won't sell, everyone, it's going to be a disaster, and yet it sold out about four or five days ago. I know, I'm not surprised, really, because I know that Sheffield fans, they're really behind the boxing. And uh, it's obviously, it's hard when I'm in the other end of England, because they've got a... They've got to get down there. They've got to get the beer money. They've got to, they've got to get somewhere to sleep. You know, it's, it's hard. It's a dear deal. It's expensive. It's so expensive. So it's all corners for people. So stay away. It's like everyone wants to be involved with it. Yeah, and they do as well. Now, Kel, the one thing I think about Love More in Do. Okay, now. We know about how strong he is. We know about all the great names on his record. The one thing that concerns me is, are you going to try too hard to be the first man, the first man in 62, fi 62 fights to stop him? That's a, it's a good question, Matt. I've got to be a professional about, about good. Joanna. I can't, I can't let the, uh, the crowd and the cheering get to me. I've got to be a professional about what I'm going to do. I've got to, I've got to be patient. I've got to be composed and, and relaxed and, and do and do the job in, in hand. Because the, the way to get to this guy, Kel, and I'm only telling you what you know, and I'm only telling you what Brendan and everyone will be telling you, the way to get to this guy is by using speed and angles and not looking for power until you open him up a little bit. That's bang on, Steve. That's bang on. Uh, you've got to come at angles. We'll be touching his body. Of course. You've got, to, you've got to be coming at angles and, uh, and not be loading up with shots. The, the, the second... second Taking him apart, be patient, and and I think you know we'll start opening up up from that. Exactly. So after three or four, or five rounds, you'll have a better idea. How have the preparations gone? Because I heard there was some hard sparring down in Essex last weekend. Yeah, we've uh, we've had we've had some hard sparring. Um, I've, I've probably done more sparring for, for this fight than I have any of the other fighters. Wow. Uh, I've been I've been training in Tenerife. I've done the hard runs, the hard spars. They're all in the bank now. Uh, I'm mentally in a good place, and uh, I can't, I can't wait now. Now I know we shouldn't look, 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 look past this fight because it's not, you know, this guy in his last fight, for instance, he lost on points to Saul Alvarez, who stopped Ryan Rhodes last week. So we know this guy's tough, so we shouldn't look past it. But if we can just gaze forward, will you have a world title fight by Christmas? I believe I will. I've just gone with Matchroom. It's my first fight with Matchroom. Eddie Hearn has done a, a, a week, a brilliant job with me already. Uh, he's talking about Darren Bark getting a world title fight straight away. Yep. We've got Cole Frotch in the car. I believe that he can deliver. He's saying that he can he can get me a world title fight, and, and I've got 100% belief in him. Uh, he's done everything he's, he's said so far, and I, I believe that he can definitely deliver with it. That was Kel Brook, and he fights Love More Endu in Sheffield this Saturday, live on Sky. That's a world title. That's world plug number two, if I'm not mistaken.